clerk ordered to pay $260,000 for, what'd she do? Oh, That's a familiar face. She denied gay marriage license. Damn, I hope it's worth it. Former Rowan County, Kentucky clerk Kim Davis, the Pentecostal evangelical Christian, who made international headlines in 2015, has now been ordered to pay a total of more than 360,000 after refusing to issue a marriage license to a local same sex couple that year, ignoring the US Supreme Court's ruling in support of marriage equality. All you had to do was listen. That's all you had to do. Davis, who once told supporters she is a quote, soldier for Christ, was ordered by US District Judge David L. Bunning on Tuesday to pay attorneys of the couple $260,104 in fees and expenses. The Lexington Herald leader reports previously was ordered by a jury to pay the couple. David Ermold, David Moore, a total of 100,000 in damages. In March of 2022, a federal judge found Davis had violated the couple's constitutional rights, reporting from the new civil rights movement. While the elected county clerk Davis was jailed for several days after defying a court order to issue marriage licenses to same sex couples, citing her personal religious belief, she had claimed she issued marriage licenses under, quote, God's authority. And refused. Davis lost her re-election race in 2018 to Democrat. The question is simple. Did Davis knowingly violate the law? The answer here is clear. Yes, Judge Bunning wrote in 2022. Ultimately, this court determination is simple. Davis cannot use her own constitutional rights as a shield to violate the constitutional rights of others while performing her duties as an elected official. Several couples sued Davis who lost, but appealed to the US Supreme Court, which refused to take her case. But in comes, drum roll please. He's sometimes on a borrowed yacht, (laughs) sometimes found in a private plane. He also doesn't own and didn't pay for. Clarence Thomas, the justice now embattled in a series of serious ethics scandals, used the opportunity to attack the 2015 Obergfell ruling which found the US Constitution provides same sex couples with the same rights and responsibilities to marriage as different sex couples. Just, I don't know what it is about this picture, but I'm just, and he- Yeah, that picture gets me too, it it, yeah. It's not looking at me that way, for real. It looked like he didn't want this picture to get out. Like this was his least favorite one of the batch. (laughs) Something else, boy, he's something else. Thomas claimed Davis may have been one of the first victims of this court's cavalier treatment of religion and it's Obergefell decision, but she will not be the last. Due to Obergefell, those with sincerely held religious beliefs concerning marriage will find it increasingly difficult to participate in society without running afoul of Obergefell and its effect on other anti-discrimination laws. Thomas wrote in 2020, five years after the decision, which did not produce the effect he claimed. I wonder Jackson, he's in an interracial marriage, God bless him. Love is love, I don't care about that. Not a smirk, I don't need to see that picture again. But if someone would have said, no, I'm not gonna give you the license because my Pentecostal Lord, and the, I'm no you know, scholar when it comes to the Bible, but I am assure you, it doesn't say all these things. Can't possibly say all these things, okay? And if someone needs to correct me, do so, but I want you to, well, I would not say unlike Claudia <laughs> Gay. I want you to give me the actual site, the note, okay? I want to know exactly where you found it that says, no, nah, can't do that. My beliefs, the Bible. Well, look, at the end of the day, uh, this woman got this fat fine, this $260,000 fine, not because she was a warrior for God, which is a very, very robust claim. But because of her pride and her arrogance, that's the only reason she got this pride. She could have backed down. She could have not gone with it, but she had to win, but she lost. You know, sometimes there's battles that you can't win. You got to recognize that. But even more so, you know, as you were pointing out, you know, the Bible and she's, you know, she's specifically Christian. It's not one book. It's many books. And it's many books written from many different kinds of people in different time periods. And there's a lot of different things in those many books that can be interpreted in different ways. Some of uh, what's written in those books are laws from old churches, old old countries. So it's like 
in some ways, the Bible is historical references, not that everything in it is true, but it speaks about the time period. Mm -hmm. All of that to say there's so much happening in the Bible that you can't just be like, oh, I, you know, the the Bible says you can't do this with gay marriage. The Bible also says you can't have tattoos. You know what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. there's just a lot of stuff in there that you can decide to follow or not. But the moral of the story is uh, she got this fine because of her pride, you know? Yeah, you're right. People want to put a lot of things on the Bible. Might say you shouldn't be texting the president's chief of staff. (laughs) <laughs> During an insurrection, it might be telling your wife that, but you did it anyway. Okay. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm telling you it happened. Ask Clarence Thomas. 